Hey guys, welcome back. Just doing the uh, quick update on the build and items for my Night Enchanter in Dragon Age. Uh, a couple people were interested in what I was wearing and uh, what my new build was. So let's take a quick look through here. So for the build, um, not much has changed between the Night uh, Enchanter tree and Spirit tree. Again, I have everything chosen except for Resurgence because I don't use it. And then again, just down to Guardian Spirit. For Storm, a little bit different here. Got Energy Barrage, got uh, Conductive Current. I really only did it for the Conductive Current because it's a bonus 5% damage for each 10% missing mana. Uh, for the Fire Magic, I still have Immolate and Wildfire, but I also have Flashpoint. Not really super interested in Flashpoint, but I did want Clean Burn. Suggested by a uh, commenter whose name I won't say because it's a little inappropriate, but... It's, uh, it's useful because it reduces the cooldowns for all your abilities um, as you use them. So every time I use my Spirit Blade, it takes a second off of the cooldowns for my other abilities, which is really handy with Fade Step and Fade Cloak. And then uh, Chaotic Focus as well, which it works really well with the Night Enchanter, I find, because you, you often have a barrier up, and this ability makes it so that uh, any fire spells you cast will do 50% of your barrier damage. So that's uh, really handy. Uh, for Winter, again, still have Fade Step and Frost Step to do the damage. Um, Winter's Grasp, I don't use Winter's Grasp. Mostly what I have it for is the Mana Surge. So every time that uh, your barrier does break, it freezes enemies around you. So that's a good handy one in case you're getting a little bit of trouble. Now for the items, a um, couple things have changed. So I have this new staff, I made it. I made it specifically for killing, uh, killing dragons. When I actually made it, I wasn't able to put a grip in, but now it looks like I might be able to, so we'll give that a shot, but uh, it's a it's a good strong staff, and I think it'll be really handy. I think this dragon is weak to fire. Uh, and I got this battle mage armor off of a level 23 dragon, I think, uh, called the Highland Ravenger. Uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a really strong uh, piece of armor. I'm not too keen on how it looks, but... You know, whatever. I made this hat as well. Um, for everything else, per amulet of willpower, pretty standard. Uh, still have the focus belt, and I have the uh, heal on kill for my ring. I need to change this ring though, because it's um, I don't use chain lightning right now. So, but uh, this one is really handy. The super ring of life train, especially if you're going to solo things, because if you ever do get damaged, um, killing you know trash mobs will get you uh, lots of health back and keep you in the fight. Anyways, that was a quick video. I'm going to cut this one right here and then start recording another one to fight this guy solo, the Greater Mistral Dragon. So if you guys do have any comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, as always, just uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.